J.D. Power says new cars have more problems, America's most stolen cars, and GM recalls more cars for ignition problems. This is the week in reverse here at the Car Connection. J.D. Power's annual initial quality study went live on Wednesday, and it wasn't good news for some car companies. Porsche was the top-rated brand, and its Panamera had the fewest problems in the study. Fiat was the worst, and its 500L was the most trouble-prone car in the first three months of ownership. GM took six category wins, while Hyundai and Kia finished with a handful each. The National Insurance Crime Bureau released its list of most stolen cars from the last three years. Topping the list, three Ford utility vehicles, the Escape, the Edge, and the Explorer. The NICB says compact crossovers were the most frequently stolen vehicles, info it compiles from police and insurance reports. GM has recalled another 3.4 million vehicles for ignition problems similar to the one that kicked off the company's switchgate hearings earlier this year. The cars included in the new recall are some Buick LaCrosse, Lucerne and Regal sedans, the Cadillac DeVille and DTS, and the Chevrolet Impala and Monte Carlo. Meanwhile, the NHTSA will investigate whether Chrysler should recall 1.2 million vehicles of its own for a pair of ignition problems eerily similar to the ones plaguing GM. Jeep's Grand Cherokee, the Chrysler minivans, and the Dodge Journey are among the vehicles involved in the study of two separate problems. In both cases, the ignition can be shut off inadvertently, which means airbags won't deploy in an accident. After the study is complete, the NHTSA will decide if the vehicle should be recalled. The nation's federal gas tax could be on the rise. Senators Bob Corker of Tennessee and Chris Murphy of Connecticut have proposed a pair of consecutive raises of six cents per gallon over two years on both gasoline and diesel fuel. While the plan wouldn't compensate for the loss of revenue due to improving average gas mileage, it would boost the federal funds for highway repair and construction by roughly two-thirds. And finally this week, what car should you really drive? Anyone and everyone who drives probably asks themselves this question at some point. We think you'll get some amusement and possibly some insight out of our new survey tool, which figures out if you're a Tesla kind of guy, a Mustang gal, or maybe an F-150 fan.